Hello everyone, welcome to World of Final Fantasy, where I learned I can pause during cutscenes, which is very handy because one randomly triggered, because I did a thing. Anyways, not the point, I'm just going to let this play out, uh, and then afterwards discuss it. <laughs> huh? Wait, what are you two doing here? Huh? Right back at you. Well, it's like... Hmm. Oh, I know. Didn't you used to call it a part-time job? This is not the same as flipping burgers at some fast food joint. Hey, it is what it is. So, I hope that you're ready to go through us. <laughs> if you think you can. So I'm just doing the Coliseum battle, just going down the list, then all of a sudden the game threw me a curveball by throwing two of the seven Pleiades right in my face to battle. And let me tell you something, these two are pretty extreme, They're, it's a level 40 battle. Chances are you're not ready for that. Hell, I'm level 20, 1, 2, it doesn't matter. Point is, I'm over level 4 where I'm supposed to be, and even still I'm just scraping by, because these guys hit hard. All that said, this is a Coliseum battle, and as we all know, you can capture things in the Coliseum. Likewise, you use Libra and you realize, oh hey, you hit Ifri with a fire attack or you hit Shiva with an ice attack and it creates a prism tunity. That's very nice, because you know, these guys are special, and you know they're special because they have a star next to their name. Anyways. So, you struggle through the battle, you create a prism tunity, you capture one of them, and that has the difficulty by half. A better redundant way of saying what I was trying to say, but you get the idea. Point is, you want to make this as easy as possible, because otherwise you're gonna be crying. And you want these guys, because again, they're special. And I also decided that the live commentary was not the way to go about this because I was caught off guard. So I'm doing this post with the heavy editings. All that said, you get through this, then you go to the result screen, and you get a nice little thing about them. You can't name them because, again, they got that star next to their name, and that star signifies that they're uh, the, the guys from the plot. Yeah, the guys from the cutscenes, the Mirages, two of the seven Pleiades, you know, they're, they're those. So basically, you know, these guys are as they are. And I know what you're saying. Guild them. I thought you already caught your thing from the th from the Coliseum. Are you telling me that you're going to, like, have these on your team? Well, I'm, I caught them because, you know, they're special. Uh, I don't know. This is kind of one of those exceptions, you know. It's like, these are, these are the iconic summons, you know. Well, I guess in this game, they're, they're just the Pleiades, but, you know. I, that's irrelevant. Point is, these are special. And I caught them, so... Uh, all that said, they're they're like in the prism case, so uh, yeah, uh, pretty awesome. You beat the battle and you have access to them anytime you want, or at least at the very least you just trigger this and you can access it anytime. All that said, I'm gonna finish up the Coliseum and then I will meet you back uh, at Seronia, Final Fantasy III World. So I hope that you're ready to go through us. So I was thinking to myself, after having done the Coliseum and doing that one round of battle with Ifri and Shiva, and also having caught them and put them in my prism case, I thought to myself, anything's possible, I'm inspired. Even to go back to Icicle Ridge and do this one Mirage battle that I thought I was too underleveled to do, because, you know, we're talking like this is about a level 30 battle, or at least I figure it's a level 30 battle, it doesn't matter, it's a holy freaking dragon! Pretty, pretty intimidating if you ask me. Size alone speaks a lot, but regardless, the real, the real intimidating factor is both the strength and their HP, as dictated by the Libra here. Well, maybe not so much the strength. I digress. You can see they got about 5,390 HP. And you know, they, they're a little bit resistant against light, but they're weak against dark. Use that to your advantage. Use the light attack if you want to create a prism tunity. Regardless, you should be aware they have a couple light spells. They hit pretty hard. They got dispel, so if you use any positive things at your disposal, any positive status effects, they can get rid of that. 
Also, when they get low on health, they tend to use Regain to get back some of their health, so it drags this battle out longer than necessary. Pretty annoying, really. Take care of one of them, then this battle just becomes painfully uh, easier. In my regards, it's it's kind of kind of straightforward. That said, you know, just just do what you can, get through this. If you're not as high level, maybe save this battle for later. And then afterwards, you know, you, you win, you get a lot of experience points. And also, the most important thing, a Holy Dragon Memento. You know, something that you can evolve a guy into, or at the very least, side evolutionize. And that's pretty cool. Otherwise, I'm just gonna say this, we're going back to Seronia. <laughs> if you think you can. And now. At long last, Final Fantasy 3 World, or also known as Seronia. Uh... Oh my, did you just trudge through all that snow and ice? You must be absolutely exhausted. Well, welcome to the harbor town of Seronia. That's where we are. I apologize if I sound a little weird. I used to think that the Federation were a pretty scary lot. And look at how much they're doing for us. All you have to do is work towards becoming an architect, and they'll give you everything you need to get by. It's great. Now I wish we'd gone and joined them ages ago. Ah, uh, I'm sure you don't really mean that. Anyways, I want to apologize if I sound a little weird in between, like, parts. Kind of recover from a cold. But anyways, I guess we'll all just interact with all the townsfolk. All these stories the Federation is feeding us are far too good to be true. There's no way they aren't lying to us. I don't know, man. I think it's better to be paranoid. Also, I'm gonna avoid talking to the exclamation mark people, cause uh, that advances the story. Hold it. The harbor is off limits to outsiders. We can't let just anyone inside. Oh, Sorry come on, that. man. He's really not gonna let us. All right, fine. It's cool. When I grow up. I'm gonna be a famous architect. Oh man, everyone has their eyes set like on being an architect, like their their minds and their hearts and everything. You're kidding me! You actually crossed high school ridge to make it here? That's completely insane! I like your style. <laughs> it was easy with the warlock warmers. Oh man. Head down this way and you'll find the slums where the derelicts live. Although, I'd avoid setting foot in there if I were you. Avoid setting foot? How bad could it be? Shantytown. I don't remember that in Seronia. Oh. Whoa, what happened to this oh. place? I know. How can it be so different from the next road over? This is terrible. If someone isn't able to raise their civic rank high enough, Federation brands them a derelict and sends them to the slums where they're forgotten. Well, that's pretty shitty. What a bum deal. I hear there are special attacks out there specifically devised to take out stacked opponents. If I ever ran into bad guys with moves like that in their arsenal, you can bet I'd get myself unstacked pronto. Meh, I've run into it. It's not that bad. Oh, hey, an occult fan issue, too. We should probably look at that, right? As soon as I can figure out the, uh, the menu button. There we go. I figured it out. I know how to video games sometimes. Let's see. Where is it? There we go. Ah, uh, four pages again. What the f Today, we'll be looking at the so-called treasure ship, whose phantom-like appearances have been causing... Bedlam in Port Town of Sarodia. Or is it Sarodia? I can never really get that right. Final Fantasy 3 World. Alright, so these guys are gonna talk about this so called treasure ship. You can read it at your own leisure. I'm just I'm just gonna like keep on going. Yeah, th then where was it seen? Oh man, this might be foreshadowing with the chimes and the, the things and the bells. Oh man, first there was a clear combination, or there was a clear connection between the chimes and the ship's appearance. Interesting. 
maybe you have to rank them in the right order. Yeah. Hey, combination. Got it. I got it. I'm smart. Reporting by Briggs. Briggs. All right. Briggs. Where's Wedge? I'm sure. I'm sure he's somewhere here. All I want is to be able to live my own life. Is it so wrong for me to seek my own path and not strive to become an architect? I don't think that's unreasonable at all. Hey, well, that's a cool picture combination right there. I'm sure it has nothing to do with the cult fan magazine issue number two. Everyone tells me I should strive to become an architect, but there's only so much you can do when you've been around as long as I have. Oh man, that guy sounds like me, all old and disgruntled. Uh, I can't do anything up here, can I? Nope. There ain't nothing up here. Well, I think I've talked to all the fa all the uh, all the NPCs that are not important. Now I gotta talk to all the important ones with the exclamation marks. That that's what I gotta do next. So next time, actual plot. <laughs>